Hi guys, I'm Nagadar Chan and welcome to my reaction for Shinigami Bochan to Kurome episode 8. It's been a hella long time since I last watched it. Yeah, it's been. Uh, but I want to finish this because I really like it. Just didn't have a time, so I'm very sorry. <laughs> I hope I did not forget too much. I like watched a tiny little bits of all the episodes, so. I would at least remember like the main kind of plot and main things which were happening so I can wait to just jump into this again yeah so I'm just going to start it right now I'm very excited <laughs> this is very sweet anime so Okay, a little louder. Oh my god. Sorry. Can you just work properly, please? Well... I mean, all the teasing. <laughs> oh. I haven't heard his opening for such a long time. It's so cute. Has still a few episodes left, so I'm intrigued where this will go. Intrigued. Yamakawa something. White snow, black clouds. Okay. Oh my god, his writing is horrible. Oh. She's learning. Oh, she wasn't able to... Yeah, read and write. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh my god, that's so sweet. Right. Sarcas. Oh, I guess it might work. Damn, must be pretty hard for an adult to learn this. Sir. <laughs> There's a meaning to it. Okay. It's his younger brother, right? He doesn't even look that pretty to me. I mean, I guess he did not tell mother what she's doing, where she's going. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ouch. True. 
true, that's very true. And Kana, you would be sided away, maybe? You would not be that important. Really? Really? Is that what you think? Need to chill, goddammit. Is he interested now? Only two hours, that's not too much. Wow, someone has pretty hard complex. Um because he's not that creepy like you are. Oh my god. Maybe if you would be less freaking out, she would like him more. Because I would not want to be around such obnoxious bread like you are. <laughs> Ouch. He's not that pretty. I think the older brother is prettier, the Duke. Again. How long would the, it will take for the mother to realize what is happening? Or maybe she has Kana. You might be thinking about that, what is happening. Hello there. Oh. Wow. If that is not a suspicious thing. <laughs> I don't think burglar would be acting so nonchalantly. Girl, what are you thinking? What the hell are you thinking? I don't think... Uh, yeah. Why are that's a natural airbag? You're still young, you can still grow. That's an interesting stuff happening. Oh, that's interesting, POE. Okay. She thinks it's a game. Come on, you're still a kid. You can grow up. Oh, dad. Dad. I don't think you understand how dead this looks. Yeah. He's a cute dude. He's not gloomy. <laughs> the very suspicious scene. Yeah. <laughs> Natural respond like, ah, okay, we're leaving. <laughs> She's like, what the heck? Yeah, like, naturally, you probably should ask who this person is, naturally, just walking inside. Like, it, it could have been, I mean, understood there is not many people coming to him, I guess, but like, still. What the hell are you doing? How would you be able to notice? Okay. <laughs> I was just scared she's going to burst through the freaking window jump. Yeah, I feel like it was on purpose. <laughs> Oh, 
Sun Ring is so nice. Mm. Yeah, just being cuddling. Well, they kind of cannot cuddle much <laughs> together. What? Cheater. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Music is so beautiful. No. She hasn't been there for such a long time, right? She's so beautiful. She brightened his life so much. He doesn't even remember her. She's so beautiful. I love that outfit. She looks so fine. He was so moody back then. Oh, because what happened, huh? I mean, he was desperate and probably depressed. She really brightened his life. That's so sweet. He must be so scared to like accidentally kill someone, which like he still is, but he's more comfortable with kind of being around people since she moved there. Oh, <laughs> like get out of here, woman! Get out of my life! Yeah, he wasn't in a good mindset. So much things change since then. Oh, that's why she lived there? Or where she lives? I mean, it's uh, natural for him to be desperate. Interesting, Lena. I want to know more about her mother. What's going on there? He looks better without it, though. I really like his cute curl curly hair. <laughs> he was so kind of so annoying back then. But like, yeah, he was not... Um, he was just trying to push her away so much. It's 
now. He's so cute without a hat. Damn. Yeah, he feels like he doesn't deserve anyone to be nice to him and around him and these kind of things. But she likes him. She's so nice to him. That's what he needs, like... He kind of needs someone who would persuade him with kindness to show him that they care about him. Must be hard. Mm. So I, I guess she might sympathize with him. She might understand how he feels a little. Because like she apparently been through a lot. Hmm. He just wants to find a way how to just throw away. <laughs> he doesn't understand that she is like kind of. She would do it. She would try to do it. Oh. Cute. It was nice to her. I guess that's why she was very happy to go here. It was nice to her. Yep. She's very determined to be here with you. And this is exactly what he needs. It's not that buddy. He thinks of himself so lovely. He likes you. It's just too much for him. <laughs> as much as needed. Yeah, she's being very supportive. Exactly what he needed. Damn. <sighs> that was so good and sad. <laughs> because of the way he was thinking of himself. <laughs> okay. Hmm. He was living in misery. The classical music in a bag is just such touch. He was living in a desperation until Alice came. We probably, yeah, it would be better. To stop struggling. 
It makes sense to come a thing like this. Oh, remove my bread. Oh, she came to you, you dumbass. Because he wasn't feeling good. She came to you, dumbass. <laughs> uh, she was running after him. Because she cares. And he means it. Kinda. <laughs> no. Oh my god. I mean, she cares about it, so she's like, how can you talk like this? She would be very sad. Hmm. Yes, he helped her. Yeah. So she doesn't want him to die or live miserably because he helped her. She wants to repay him and she likes him. Oh, that's so sweet. Look out! Yeah, she literally did. Because he would just sleep there forever, probably. <laughs> I think. <laughs> He's remembering and she just... <laughs> He wasn't paying attention. Oh my god. That's a sly move, girl. <laughs> oh, this is the sweetest thing. They're so sweet. And this episode, oh my god, I was so sad. I was so sad hearing him like saying all those things. Yeah, he wasn't like in the best mindset back then. But at least Alice came and helped him a lot. Yeah. Okay, I'm leaving this ending. This is nice song too. But like really, I completely forgot how great this soundtrack and this anime is. Like it's a lot of classical sounding music. And I love it. I freaking love the soundtrack. And just the way how they incorporate it within the scenes is just top-notch absolutely oh christmas eve wow okay it's the end it's the end okay damn this was <laughs> Oh my god, I stopped watching this for such a long time. Now I came back and I'm almost freaking in tears. Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me, Anima? <laughs> why are you doing this to me, Duke? 
yeah, that was that was kind of heartbreaking to hear him like that. Poor, poor thing. But I'm glad that Alice came and now he's like way better, yeah. Definitely way, way better. He was very depressed back then. So sad. But understandable. Like, his life sucked. He was lonely. He only had butler, but like... Yeah, that's really not that much. And he thought of himself as a monster. But like, Alice kind of keeps his mind on different things. Right? Like, he knows he has a curse because he cannot touch her. But he's thinking, like, how to live the curse. Not like, my life is miserable and I probably deserve to die. Yeah. That was sweet. Oh my god. And his younger brother, oh my god, he's so obnoxious. <laughs> no wonder. Violet, Violet is just coming to the Duke because, like, her brother, other brother, is so goddamn annoying. Jesus Christ. And he is not even that pretty. What? You call that pretty? I think the Duke looks way more better. I don't know. Just the curly hair is are really cute. They are just so gosh, gosh darn cute. Maybe because like the younger brother just looks, you know, the beautiful in a way for me, which is not beautiful. I don't know. But Duke is hella cute. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I find his curly hair extremely adorable. Yeah, so got him adorable. But I'm kind of worried that mother might kind of find out what is happening. She might be suspicious of where Viola is coming. That probably would not be good, right? Yeah, that probably would not be good. Also, I want to know about... Alice's mother, like, she's been teased so much, right? But, like, we don't know anything about her. That is something weird happening. Yeah, and Alice as a kid was, like, ill a lot. Interesting. I guess I don't know if it was talked about previously. Because I forgot a lot of details. But that's definitely interesting. Yeah, and because she's been apparently through a lot, she kinda could have empathized with the Duke. She probably might have like gone through some like pretty depressed times also. That was very nice. So I, I think I'm going to give this episode eight out of ten. <laughs> It's just emotional, out of nowhere, what the heck, right? Yeah. Damn, I'm, I'm glad that I came back because this is so hella wholesome. Kinda sad, but hella wholesome. Yeah. And, oh my god, I forgot to talk about it. There's going to be a second season. So I definitely want to see how this story is continuing because I do really like the characters in this. I love the romance, it's so goddamn sweet. And Cuff and Zane are goddamn sweet too. They are so hella adorable. Yeah, I like the pairings in this anime, so please give me happy endings. <laughs> and I guess that's all. Goodbye and see you next time.